Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is Vlogmas day three and we are just riding the struggle bus this week. I did not have a video prepared for today. I've been filming this week, but those videos are gonna go, <laughs> go up next week. And so I thought, what video do I wanna post today? And I thought about just chatting with you guys, but then I couldn't really think of anything to chat about. And then the thought came to me that I picked up some mail from my P.O. box that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So we'll do that tonight. We'll just keep it casual. I've got uh, some ice water and a Starbucks cup because you know that tastes better, I guess. And then I also just made myself an espresso. So we're just gonna sit here and chat and uh, I'm gonna open some cards from you guys. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so this first package is from Sarah and she sent me a very cute uh, cactus card. And she also has an Etsy shop. Uh, she says, Jen, Merry Early Christmas. I thought I would send this a little early because I wanted to give you some wrapping paper from my Etsy shop since you are the cooking queen. I thought you might like some uh, if you would like to wrap your gifts in cheeseburger paper this year. And when I opened this, I was like, OMG, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So the the name of her shop I believe is gift couture yes and uh, her name is Sarah and she lives in Connecticut it looks like so I'll link her shop down below but look at this you can wrap uh, your presents in all of these different patterns and it looks like a cheeseburger I'm like look at the tomato isn't that cool she has a lot of great awesome stuff in her shop so definitely check that out but um, Thank you so much, Sarah, for sending that to me. She says she um, likes watching my vlogs. She also likes scrapbooking and cooking and meal prep videos. She just moved to the suburbs from NYC. Um, I know you don't see yourself as inspirational, but as viewers really do, especially during the pandemic, it's been nice to have a constant stream of cheer and uplooking or an uplifting videos to look forward to. Looking forward to Vlogmas, take care, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Uh, I love it. I'll definitely send you a thank you note back and thank you for the wrapping paper. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, and this next package is from A. You didn't conclude your name, but I'm just gonna call you A. <laughs> so she sent me this cookbook from Amazon and um, she saw me mention this in my Costco haul where I talked about wanting this new Ina Garten cookbook. And I said, well, I wasn't gonna buy it because I was gonna ask for it for Christmas. But she says, um, I saw that you wanted this book and figured Christmas could come early this year. Uh, Merry Christmas from A. So thank you so much for uh, this cookbook. You included your email address, so I'll definitely email you a thank you. I do appreciate it. I love Ina Garten cookbooks, so I can't wait to look through this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. So this next envelope is from, I believe your name is Dalal, and you are from uh, Ontario, Canada. And uh, it looks like you did not send a note in here for me, but you sent me some awesome bracelets, and these are super pretty. Um, you guys can see these are handmade beaded bracelets and there are a bunch of different varieties so thank you so much for sending these they are super pretty I actually love bracelets like these because I do a lot of typing in my job and something like this is very pretty but it's super easy to slip on and it doesn't bother me when I'm typing um, and I also shared these with Kira and she said she's going to want some of them too so I'll share them with her so thank you so much for sending those I really appreciate it. Okay this next card is from Stella in Australia and she sent me this cute <laughs> koala card it says Jen Merry Christmas from Australia I hope you and your family have a wonderful and safe Christmas you're my favorite person to watch I watch before or I watch you while eating my breakfast even though I don't have children yet I still love everything about your channel you are great lots of love uh, it's been a very tough year yes you guys had flooding and storms and COVID I'm hoping for a brighter 2021 and beyond worldwide so thank you so much for sending me a Christmas card and taking the time to do that I really appreciate it and I appreciate your sweet message this next card is from Liz in Texas and she also sent me a Christmas card it says Jen thank you for all that you share on YouTube please send snow to spring Texas just saying since we still have mosquitoes so Liz, I would love to send you some snow. However, we haven't had any yet here. It's been like unseasonably warm most of November, which is pretty odd, but hopefully we're gonna have some snow and some cold this month in uh, December. So when we get that, I'll be sure to send it to you. But thank you so much for sending me a card. I appreciate it. This next Christmas card is from Megan G in California, and I'm not gonna share it with you because it has a picture of 
um, her family on there and I want to make sure that I don't <laughs> share anything that I'm not supposed to. Um, but it says, Jen, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Love watching your channel and wish you lots of success with your cookbook. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to send me a card. So I am, um, in the process, I'm in the throes of writing a cookbook <laughs> right now, which is part of what I've been, um, so consumed with lately and why I'm so behind on everything. But I always have uh, a link to my email list in the description box below and you guys can sign up for that if you want uh, more updates. I want to start sending emails out more consistently. I haven't really been very good about that. Um, but closer to the cookbook launch this spring, I will definitely be doing that. And I know last year that I exchanged Christmas cards with you guys and I thought about doing it this year, but I don't really feel like I have the bandwidth to do it right now. So um, if you want to send me Christmas cards, definitely do that. I love reading them and I will send you back a card, but I have no promises that it will be a Christmas card or that it will get to you in December, <laughs> but you will definitely get a card back from me, even if it is um, a little while later, but yes. Thank you. Okay, this next card is another Christmas card from Elizabeth, and Elizabeth, your name looks familiar to me, so either that means I recognize your comment <laughs> on my channel, or I have um, gotten mail from you before, one of the two, I'm not sure which. By the way, I'm terrible with names, I've told you guys that before. Uh, it's something I really strive to improve on, but um, it says, Jen, I hope this holiday season is full of love and fun. I love your channel, you inspire me daily to try new things in the kitchen. Can't wait to buy your new cookbook. I can only imagine all of the delicious delicious recipes that will be in there with love Elizabeth thank you so much Elizabeth for sending me a card and for your sweet note I really appreciate it yes I am um, I don't know you guys if I'm being real I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> about releasing this cookbook because um, I like if you watch the video when I first talked about it you know it was um, it was a concept that already existed that a publisher came to me about and so it's not a concept that I developed although the recipes that will be in the cookbook will be mine um, and I think it's a really awesome concept but you know you're always just nervous about stuff like that because you never know how people are gonna receive it and I've seen um, some other youtubers that have published cookbooks and there's always and you know there's always negativity no matter what you do and then people accuse them that like oh this is junk because you can get all these recipes on Pinterest well let's be real you can get any recipe <laughs> online I mean you can literally go on Pinterest or on the internet and get any recipe so by using that logic you would never buy any cookbook right because like even I a garden cookbooks I can go online and get all these recipes but that's not why I buy a cookbook I buy a cookbook because I like the person that wrote it and I want a hard copy of all the recipes. So anyway, I, I just, I don't know. I, I mean, I've never done something like this before, right? So of course I'm nervous about it. I feel like anybody <laughs> would be, but I'm working really hard on it and I do hope that um, you guys like it. So yes, I, I don't know why I'm blabbering on about that, but I am. So anyway, my next uh, card is from Jennifer in Ontario, Canada, and she also sent me a very pretty Christmas card. Thank you so much. Uh, it says, Jen, Adam, and family, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love your videos. Thanks for all of your inspiration. Thank you so much for taking the time to send me a card. I really appreciate it, you guys. I, um, I, I know I don't I don't necessarily think of myself as someone that's like inspirational because I'm just like going about my life and trying to <laughs> share it with you guys. But I guess in a way that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm I'm trying to share with you what I'm doing in my life. I never want to project that I'm perfect or that I have everything figured out because I surely don't. But I definitely enjoy um, sharing with you guys like what works for me and what I'm doing. There are certain things that I'm really bad at and I've feel like I'm pretty transparent <laughs> about that with you all. So yeah, it's fun. Okay, this next card is from Tennessee and it is from Anita. Um, it says, Jen, we always enjoy your humor and content. Um, and this, oh, in this day and time with all of the chaos, you inform us, make us laugh, make us think, uplift us and take our minds off of what's happening. Wishing you a blessed new year. That is such a pretty card. So thank you so much for sending that. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Christmas as well. Okay. This next card actually came from England and it says it's from Tesco. Is that a grocery store? I think it's a grocery store. Um, I so want to come to England someday. I have never been to Europe. I have 
Um, only been outside the country. Uh, I've been to Canada when I was a kid and I have been to uh, Mexico when I was a kid and then Mexico when I was an adult. Um, but I've never been anywhere else outside the country. I would love to come to Europe. It is on my bucket list. Someday I will get there. Um, but she said, Jen and family have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, greetings from Deb in Hemsby, England, I believe is what it says. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing <laughs> that wrong. But Adam was very intrigued to open this because he saw that it was um, Royal Mail. So thank you so much for sending that. It is a, uh, a beautiful card and I appreciate it very much. Okay, so if this is your card, you need to comment and tell me tell me what's going on with this because I believe it is a service where you can do personalized cards and you don't have to like sign them or touch them which I think is a fantastic concept especially this year it says Jen don't worry your card is Santa sanitized <laughs> it's sanitized that's awesome no one touched it before you no one looked the envelope made to order just for you to Jen and family thank you so much for all your videos and chat over the past years You've kept me going throughout a year. I know it's been difficult for everyone. Here's to many more years of friendship and better times for us all. Wishing you a happy Christmas and a safe and healthy 2021. Lots of love, Laura, Dan, and Kai. Thank you so much for sending that. I really appreciate it. And this is awesome. It says, uh, the brand it says is uh, LOL. Well, I guess that's the brand of the card. Moon Pig, share a moment, share a moon pig. Who would have known? Thank you very much, I appreciate it. This next card is from Stacy in New Jersey and she also sent me a really pretty uh, Christmas card and it says, Jen and family, thank you for your wonderful content on YouTube. We especially enjoy Murphy, he's too cute. Be blessed and say, stay safe. Thank you so much, Stacy. And Stacy is from New Jersey. I almost want to say New Jersey, but you guys probably don't like that when I use that accent because I'm from Iowa and it's been said that we don't really have an accent here. I don't feel like I have an accent, but some people say that people who live in the Midwest have an accent. But anyway, at any rate, thank you very much for your card and for taking the time to send one to me. I really appreciate it. This next card is from Casey. It is a very pretty card and I recognize your name, Casey. You're from Oklahoma. Um, again, I can't, I don't remember if I recognize your name from the, co I think I recognize your name from um, my comments, but it says, Dear Jen, I'm so excited about your cookbook. You're so deserving and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Thank you for your dedication and content. I've watched your channel for several years now and you've taught me so much. My family and I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Casey, for that sweet note. I appreciate it. Yes, um, I will actually be looking for um, some people to receive advanced copies of the cookbook. That's one of the things I have to do is recruit people to receive advanced copies and um, write reviews and all that stuff. So I'll definitely save some of you guys' cards and um, if you reach out to me about that and I'll I'll uh, save those and maybe reach out to you <laughs> when it's time to uh, do that and you can get a free copy. So how's that? <laughs> Thank you so much. This next card is from Cami, and it says, Skagit Valley on the front, I think. She's from Bellingham, Washington. So I don't know if you guys, I, I think, I feel like I've talked about this before, but I actually have family that lives in Seattle. Um, and I've been to the Pacific Northwest several times. Um, it's been a while since I've been out there to see my family. I feel like it's it's probably been 10 years because I feel like Kira was a baby the last time we went, but I love the Pacific Northwest. And honestly, if I could live anywhere but here, that is where I would live. I just love it out there. Um, but anyway, she wrote me a really sweet note. Um, she said, it's so exciting that you're writing a cookbook. I discovered your videos from Frugal Fit Mom. So thank you, Christine, for your shameless prom promotion of me. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I found a nice sale on the Kasori air fryer. My parents got, got it for me as an early Christmas present. I'm 34 years old. Um, I live in a studio apartment. It's a, in a historic building in her town. It was renovated in the 1970s. That's kind of cool actually. Um, <laughs> she just, she kind of talked about her studio apartment. Um, I love all your videos and recipes. Thank you for being so real, having messy buns and being honest. I plan on making that cranberry jalapeno salsa recipe and the cheese balls for the holidays. I cannot wait. Um, I will put on your videos while I clean cook and do my chores. I hate cleaning as well. Yes, I don't, I didn't say I hate it. It's just not my favorite thing to do. Um, 
It says, she says she talks, she buys cleaning products from Grove too, and that helps her clean a lot. Um, much love and light to you and your family. They are a wonderful Cami. Thank you so much, Cami, for sending that. I really appreciate the card and your sweet note. This next card is from Candy, and Candy, you have sent me so many cards. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> you have sent me so many cards. Um, and you're always so positive and you live in Ohio um, and in this card it says Jen I am so happy to hear of your recent success um, a cookbook will be smashing and it will certainly be in my collection thank you candy I almost I feel like I want to cry you guys are so sweet and nice and I feel like I don't deserve it because here I am just talking into a camera but um, I really do appreciate all of you that take the time to send me cards and letters it's just it's it's awesome so thank you candy for sending me that this next uh card or note is from lisa and she says jen uh, i am a subscriber and enjoy your videos uh lisa lives in maryland it looks like um and she sent me a sample of scentsy it looks like she sells scentsy so she sent me a sample of that and this is the uh jeweled pomegranate which is the scent of the month so thank you very much i appreciate that i um, I have told you guys that I recently kind of got back into wax warmers, so I definitely want to try this out. It has been a while since I have had anything Scentsy, um, a long time actually. So yeah, I'll try to find her site and link it down below. Lisa Williams, if you want to find her um, and buy some Scentsy. But thank you so much for sending that. I really appreciate it. I'll put it in my wax warmer down in my kitchen. Okay, this next note is from Lisa in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and she wrote it on this little notepad. Isn't that so funny? It says another damn list and it's a beaver. <laughs> so cute. It says, Jen, I wanted to share with you a card that I made when my friends get together. We like to make cards for others. We always send it unsigned so that the person receiving it can either pass it on or use it as a template to make more. I love this card and wanted to share it with you. It is time consuming, but if you do assembly line, it gets uh, together quick. If you ever decide to do a Zoom at Scrap Fest with some of your peeps, i.e. me, please invite me. Love scrapbooking and card making. Uh, hope you and your fam stay healthy, Tina. Um, P.S. The stamp is stamping up. So thank you so much. She sent me this really pretty uh, piano card, yes. Um, some of you guys have been around for a while know that I actually started out here on YouTube as a scrapbooker and I was actually like really involved in the scrapbooking industry on social media for a long time. Um, I still do scrapbook in my spare time, although not as much as I used to, but um, it was really my first my first love here on YouTube and um, yeah, I wish I wish I had more time to do it. Maybe maybe next year <laughs> I will. We can always dream, right? But thank you so much, Tina, for that card. I really appreciate it, and thank you so much for sending it. So let's just let's just chat about one thing here <laughs> before we go on. So my camera was flashing at me that the memory card was running out of room. So I just removed it, put it in my computer, and started unloading some of the footage. And I noticed that I had a piece of salad in my teeth. So if at any point during this video um, you saw a piece of lettuce in my teeth, it's because I just ate a salad for dinner. So I do really apologize for that. And if I cared more, I would not post this video. But you know what? Everyone gets something in their teeth. <laughs> Every once in a while. So it is what it is. I apologize for that. <laughs> anyway, so last but not least, I have... A gift from Julie and she sent me this awesome cookbook it is called Clara's Kitchen and it is a, a Great Depression cookbook which I think is so awesome um, so thank you so much Julie for sending that to me I do not have one like this and she said it's for my cookbook collection hugs and I was looking through some of the recipes in here you guys would it be fun to do like a depression cooking uh, video. I think that would be fun. So let me know if you're interested in that, but there seems like there is a lot of fun recipes in here. So thank you so much. I've never seen this cook cookbook before. So thank you for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for day three of Vlogmas. Uh, sorry, I had something in my teeth. I do apologize for that, but you know what I say? We're all friends here no matter what. And uh, sometimes, sometimes we're a hot mess and that's just... <laughs> That's just what happens. Better a hot mess than a cold mess, right? So thank you guys for hanging out with me this month. I'm having so much fun posting a video every day. Uh, and I am excited to share more with you. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.